When it comes to documentation, the Prisma docs are extremely thorough. We've got everything there for you to get started with and then take you through to advanced use cases as well. And there's even a whole set of guides here in the guide section, which target your specific technology that you might be working with, whether that be a specific framework, a specific database or whatnot. However, in this new age that we're in with AI coding assistance, it's really great if we can get the documentation right in place where we're using the AI. And if you're using GitHub Copilot along with VS Code, there's now an extension for you to be able to query the Prisma docs directly from the chat. Let's take a look at how to get going with that. Over here, we have got this Prisma for GitHub Copilot app. We'll link this in the description. All you've got to do is install it. Choose the org or the account that you want to install it against. Click Install. And once that's done, we should be good to go where we're using GitHub Copilot with this account. So over here in VS Code, let's take a look. Let's come up here to the GitHub Copilot icon. We'll do an open chat here. And the key for this is to make sure that we are in ask mode. So we've got ask, edit, or agent. We'll want to be in ask mode to be able to query the docs. So if we're here in the chat, we should be able to do at Prisma and bring up the Prisma for GitHub Copilot target. However, if we've just installed this, we might actually need to reload the window. So for that, we can do something like Command Shift P and we can reload the window. All right, so let's try this again now at Prisma for GitHub Copilot. There it is. All right, so let's try something really simple. We've got everything in place here for a Prisma project, but we don't have Prisma initialized yet. We could say something like, how do I bring Prisma into an existing project? And because this was our first question to it, we need to authorize it. So authorize for all workspaces. Doing so is going to bring up this view in GitHub and we just need to click authorize here. All right, now we're all set up. So now let's get back over to VS Code. All right, so the authorization is complete. Let's hit go again on that question. All right, so based on our specific question, the extension has gone to the Prisma docs. It has pulled together some information for us. So we've got this, install Prisma, save dev. And then here is the command that we need to actually initialize Prisma. So maybe we're working through things here and we just want to copy that bit of code and plug it into the terminal. Let's hit go on that. And just like that, we have got our Prisma directory, we've got our environment file, and we've got a schema to work against. So then let's say we're working some more and we want to say, how can I add a table to my Prisma schema for a blog application? So there's our answer back. And what we've got here is we are actually referencing the schema.prisma file. That's our current file loaded in. And that's by virtue of it being open here in my editor. So let's see if there's something here that is useful. We have got an example of an article. Maybe we copy this, put it in. Then what else do we have here? Cool, we've got instructions for how to actually get this to take effect. We've got this instruction for migration. So we could come and copy this and plug it in. I won't run this just now because I don't have a database set up. Which, by the way, if you wanted to get a database right away as you're initializing Prisma, that's very simple. We just do npx prisma init dash dash db. And this will go and create a Prisma Postgres database for us. It will put the connection string right in place in our environment file, and we'll be good to go with a ready to use database out in the cloud. So what we've shown so far here in our extension, our Prisma for GitHub Copilot extension, is just some really simple use cases that we might be asking against, but we'll also be able to ask it advanced things. For example, how do I work with transactions in Prisma? And we get information back based on questions that reach into doing things like transactions using the transactions API. Here's the array syntax. We then have the interactive transaction way of doing transactions with Prisma. So all of the content that we might want to get from the Prisma docs, if we were reading through page by page, we can just ask very pointed questions here in the chat window and get back the same information, but tailored to our specific use case here within our projects. So we invite you to give the Prisma for GitHub Copilot extension a try. Let us know how it goes, if it is bringing back useful information to you in your chat windows. And if you like this video and would like to see more, we'd love if you'd subscribe to the channel and we'll keep bringing you more great Prisma content. And if you'd like to chat with us, you can do so in many places. We're at prisma.io on the web, or you can reach out to us on x slash Twitter. We're at Prisma there. And we'll also leave a link to our Discord in the description where you can join the community and ask any questions you might have. Thanks for watching.